5 Under 5 Decor Challenge. Lemon Decor is the theme. Hosts are Missy from Crafty Cove DIY, Emily from Farm Charm Chick, and Jackie from Blessed Beyond Measure. Links to their channel and the playlist are in my description box. I'm starting out with this wooden tray from Dollar Tree and I need to cover the handles. So I'm using a scrap piece of craft stick and I'm just gonna snip it so I can get these ends covered. So this will look more like a lemon head candy box. Remember those lemon heads? And I smear on a bit of wood glue so that these pieces will be secure. The glue dried, I used Dollar Tree Spackle to fill in the holes. I mix bright yellow and white matte together for the foundation color of the candy box. Once the paint had dried, I used a pencil to freehand the logo for the box. I started to make block letters to spell out Lemonhead, but then I stopped and I started over because my letters were too small. And I went on Google and I found a lemon head image and I traced it out on a piece of notebook paper so that I could draw it onto the box. With the head all um, traced in with pencil, I used um, a blue gel pen that I got from my son to go ahead and start to trace around his face and eyes. And I think they should redo the eyes on the logo because they really make this poor kid look really beady with these just dots for eyes. Um, then I went ahead um, to make the logo for the name of the company, Ferrera Pan. And I used the matte white to fill in his hair and parts of his bow tie. And then I went to uh, adding white into the banner around the lemon head sign. Then I wanted to do some touch up to where I had erased my pencil mark and um, just so it looks a little cleaner and touched up all of the lettering. And once that was complete, I used the gel pen to go around the word Lemonhead.
And I had to add made with real lemon juice because that's the most important part of the lemon head that actually has lemon juice. Then I defined his little locks on top with the blue pen. And it's complete. Tell me what do you think about this candy box? Okay, I'm starting out with a glass jar from Dollar Tree and I'm using a bit of masking tape to put around the stopper so none of the spray paint is attached to that portion. I used Color Place white gloss paint from Walmart and I ended up uh, doing about three coats. And once it was dry, I brought it inside, removed the tape and inspected it. And using um, a piece of paper from Hobby Lobby, I snipped out um, a nice piece that had a few lemons on it and I wanted to my podge it to the front so this jar now looks like a lemon themed canister for the kitchen. Added a sealing coat of Mod Podge to the top and then using fix all glue I added a bit to the lid. I let that sit for a bit and get tacky. Once it was tacky I applied a clear glass bead to the top so it looked more like a canister. Came out great. Tell me what do you think of this canister? Starting out with a lemon napkin from Dollar Tree and some free styrofoam from a package. I open up the napkin and just flip it around the edge of the styrofoam so that I can get um, a good measure of where I need to cut and how I'm going to wrap the napkin around the styrofoam once it's cut. And I just used a piece of um, scrap piece of wood dowel just to scrape into the styrofoam so I know where to cut. I'm just using the razor knife just to slice through and get a nice, good, clean cut through the styrofoam. I laid my napkin down again so I can get um, a second cut so that I will have a bit of overlap so that the napkin breaches all the way around the styrofoam and I don't have any gaps. And then I opened the napkin up to see um, how well it would fit around the new piece that's cut and it seemed to be a good fit. Then I applied Mod Podge with a sponge dabber and worked my way around the entire piece of styrofoam. And then finally, I applied a sealing coat to that entire piece. And with the Mod Podge totally dry, I took a few pieces of tumbling tower blocks and glued them together. And then glued my giant lemon wedge to the blocks so that it would stand up.
And I'm starting out with one of a duo of styrofoam rounds from the floral section and bright yellow paint. And using um, matte white paint and one of the two four dollar clay pots from Dollar Tree. Just want to um, brush, not completely, but just sparingly around the pot. And with the paint dry, I'm using a white 3D paint from Dollar Tree to accentuate the sections of the lemon slice. And with the black marker, I add Stay Zesty. And using more free styrofoam and a little hot glue, I fill my pot so that this little topiary will be able to stand and then I use um, just a stick from the yard to place into the slice and push it down into the styrofoam. And then to cover the styrofoam and to stay on theme, I take one of the lemon slice napkins and just stuff that into the pot. And using one of the pieces of the farmhouse calendar and a cake tray, um, I just want to cut out the enjoy the little things. It's really cute with the lemons and the greenery, and I thought that would look really nice on a tray to display some lemons and some florals. So I'm just going to attach it with a bit of Mod Podge. and then a ceiling coat over the top. Um, I thought this tray was really cute with the scalloped edges and I thought it would look really nice with you know a bunch of lemons and some flowers in it. So simple, but I think it's a really cute little tray. And here are all five all together. I think the canister is my favorite. Tell me which one was your favorite. I wish I could find those jars in different sizes. Don't forget to check the description box for the playlist. Thanks for watching.